in full fledged without any fear. And having worked in many hospitals, including corporate hospitals, I realized there's no hassle for a doctor to take up medical legal cases. Actually, that was the truth. But unluckily, many people were not aware, and most of the doctors were not aware. That's why they used to refuse the medical legal cases. And I could see patients being referred from one hospital to another. By the time they go and reach the uh, hospital which has every facility, the life will not be there. That was their status, especially on the GST road. So I thought we have to put an end to that and then we wanted to have a good infrastructure. So gradually I started doing it and we really had the support of many of our friends and colleagues and we could set up a hospital with all the infrastructure for trauma care. And uh, way back in 2004, we started helping all the patients, all the trauma victims. Even today we have the practice. Today there is a judgment by the Supreme Court that every doctor has to do the first time. Way back in 2004, we started this habit of allocating 10,000 rupees to all the trauma victims, which has been increased to 15,000 here today. That all the trauma victims, we allocate that fund. If they have an attendant, when they can pay, yes, we do collect. But if they do not have an attendant, when there's nobody unknown, we treat them for free, stabilize them, and we do a proper transfer of care to the government hospitals. So with that mission, we right now we are operating with almost uh, eight uh, ambulances. Totally we have ten. Two of them is run for the government at uh, way <coughs> there near Dindivanam, near Tolupedu uh, and uh, Mamandu. And there the, all the patients are referred to the nearby GH. In and around this circle, we have eight ambulance services. We were the first one to deploy a qualified nurse in the ambulance. So these are the things which really made me think to go to the next level and we started helping more and more of trauma victims and we had all other specialty getting into us and immediate necessity for an orthopedic surgeon was plastic surgery, we developed the department plastic surgery, then the neurosurgery and as all of you know Almost one third of the RTAs are all neurosurgery, neuro <coughs> injuries, head injuries. So we had to develop that department and we had a milestone of development in the year 2008. We had the intraoperative CT scan, which is the one of that kind of, it's the first, first time in the country that we have a CT scan inside the operating room. So that helped to help the head injury victims and also the precise neurosurgery and precise spine surgeries. Today it is a 100 bed at orthopedic hospital. In the next few months we are going to make it as 200 beds. Thanks to the colleagues who have been supporting us. And now we have assembled here to know that we have done one of the very unique 3D deconstruction of the cranioplasty with the help of titanium. Uh, Dr. Elias Varsha will talk about this.